All right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to open up and disassemble this MacBook Air model A2179. All right, so this has an issue where it's running slow. It looks like it's overheating, so we're gonna see about redoing the thermal paste. All right, so you wanna get all the screws from the bottom out. Um, we're using a P5 or Pentalobe 1.2 screwdriver. You wanna put the screws flat side down like that in the pattern you remove them so you don't mix them up. They are all different size, shape, and lengths. Um, and if you mix them up, you can damage the computer, all right? So let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, <coughs> comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing well to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Uh, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Um, but other than that, let's continue removing all these screws. Alright, so there's 10 screws in total. The two towards the back, the ones with the um, like longer part of thread, uh, it goes in the middle and then the ones with the uh, more like the solid metal smooth portion they go towards the outside corners all right and then we got all these little screws oops i just dropped one in there oh there it is almost lost that screw okay so you want to be careful because these things are tiny all right last screw okay now that we got all the screws out i like to go from the back here where the hinge is and then i just pull up Okay, there are little clips, two clips that hold it together, and there you go. So this design's a little weird. As you can see, there's these kind of like things here, which kind of press against this and help guide the air. So when this sucks air in, it kind of draws the air in and then blows it out that way. Um, but I don't know. I think this design's kind of stupid. All right, anyways, um, the main thing we need to do is redo the thermal paste, and it looks like... Hopefully, I only have to remove those four screws. Um, if it, if that's the case, that'll actually be pretty nice. Okay, um, there's this little battery kind of reset release button. So I'm gonna press and hold that. <clears throat> you don't want to use anything that's too sharp. Um, I'm gonna use this little tool here, and then I'm gonna press it for about 15 seconds. <clears throat> this to drain any residual power and basically tell the computer not to reconnect the battery until you plug in a power source. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this 15 seconds. Um, you can just hold it like probably a few seconds, but I'm gonna hold it 15 seconds just to be safe. All right, so there we go. I think that was long enough. We're gonna go ahead and peel this up. Okay, so this little thing, we're gonna disconnect the battery. So we'll peel that, and then you have the little connector here. We're gonna go ahead and use I use my fingernail and I kind of go side to side to kind of slowly walk it out. If it doesn't come out, you might have to get underneath here and help pull this up slightly while you kind of push that back. Okay. And this connector can be kind of tough to pull out. Wow, it's actually stuck extra strong for some reason. Let's see, I'm going to rotate it here and use my other fingernail. And see... Okay, I'm going to try and grab the cabling and see. Oh, there we go. Okay. And there we go. We got the battery connection out. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to try and remove the screws for the heatsink here. Um, it looks like a smaller, I don't think it's a T5, but let's see. Okay. Did I misplace? Oh, I almost misplaced my screwdriver. Better make sure to put that back. Okay. Uh, we're going to try, I don't think it's a T5, but let's see. Yeah, no. Okay, pretty sure it's going to be a T3. So T3 or Torx 3, let's see. Yep. All right, and let's undo these four screws. Okay, I hope that's all that's holding it down because on a lot of MacBooks, they like to put the heatsink screws on the bottom of the MacBook, of the logic board, which is very annoying. Also, if you're wondering, there's not really anything upgradable in here. Um, you can replace the touchpad, trackpad, the cable, uh, wireless antennas, the screen, and the uh, battery, if I didn't already mention. Oh, and the speakers. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can somehow remove this. Hmm. 
problem is I think this thing's kind of fragile, so I'm trying to find a place to get underneath. I'm just getting under here and trying to lift it slightly. Let's see if I can go under here. So I'm just using my fingernails to try and go from this side a little. I'll push down with my finger and then I'm trying to lift with my thumb from the bottom corner edge here. It doesn't seem to want to come out. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Give me a second. I'm going to see if I can find a video where I removed one of these logic boards before so I can look what the bottom looks like. That way I can tell if there are screws coming up from the other side as well. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't find anything that looked like screws underneath there from my video. So I guess we're just going to have to keep trying to pry this up. And I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, the paste must be pretty bad. Wow, they actually put a very thick goop on there. That's very weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and peel this stuff out. Okay, I think they didn't use thermal paste. I think they used a thermal pad. Hmm. I don't know. Hopefully the thermal paste I use will conduct heat better to help cool it down more. But uh, we'll find out, All right? I'm gonna scrape this stuff off if I can. Wow, it's stuck on there pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go around the edge here. This stuff is stuck on there pretty good, or am I hitting something? They use a really thick layer of this stuff. Huh. I don't know, I'm a little worried. Okay. This is my first time ever removing a heat sink from one of these. The paste is still a little pasty, so I don't know if cleaning this off is going to work, but wow, actually, okay, there's a line here. Sorry if you can't see well, actually, I think looking at the camera, I can see better in there than through just looking directly at it so okay let me rotate this so it's easier for me to work on maybe hopefully it'll be easier okay huh, it feels very gritty whatever they used I don't know what kind of paste they use it's maybe graphite off what I could we're gonna try and wipe it with paper towel and um, some isopropyl alcohol okay so wipe off everything I can I could rotate this back over okay so we're gonna use some paper towel here so just tear up a piece I'm just gonna try and wipe off the stuff Seems to be coming out, as you can see. Try to clean it up better. I can see it kind of left some scratch marks there. Okay. All right, so there we go. That's the paste removed. We're gonna go ahead and clean it off of this as well, and then we're gonna use some isopropyl alcohol to get the remaining residue out. Okay, look at all that. All right, so we're gonna put some isopropyl alcohol on it right now. There. And we're gonna use another paper towel and we're just gonna try and clean that up, okay? I don't know if the thermal paste is going to really help or not. I think this model is just designed bad and it's designed to just thermal throttle itself. But the new OS is like more intensive and it's causing it to go super slow. See it does have like little fins there for air to flow through but it's not too good. Alright so we did that. Let's go ahead and do this side now. 
I don't think much is going to come off of this. I'll use this that has stuff already on it. But okay, let me flip it over. Let's go ahead and put some isopropyl alcohol there. Okay. Yep. dry one and just kind of make sure it's dry okay so now that we got that all cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and apply some thermal paste let me actually see if there's any lint stuck to it to blow away. okay so thermal paste I'm using icy diamond um, all right so we're gonna just put some across here they did put a kind of thick layer so I don't know hopefully I don't know if I have to put Pretty thick layer as well here this might be more thick than what they had but hopefully it'll be good okay and then we'll put a big blob in the middle here it should kind of smooth out and flatten itself to cover the whole thing for the most part I can kind of start it going like this but ultimately I want the ball of the paste to kind of push and spread out so let's see if I put more on top it's hard to tell because I don't know how thick that thing was and if we don't have enough then it's also going to be kind of an issue using a lot of thermal paste actually if, assuming it's going to be that thick all right so I did kind of a thick layer there what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually push it all to the center and then when I uh, put the heat sink on it's going to smush it all really flat and that will smear it out that way I can make sure there's maximum coverage along this whole thing okay just like that put it toward the center as much as possible this thing's kind of mostly completely covered already and when I put the thing on top it's just gonna smear it flat okay so now that we got the paste on we got this piece we're gonna put it back and we just gotta line this thing up right okay so Line up the screw hole there and here. And you can just kind of smush it down. Kind of want to lift it up just to see what it looks like. Um, so let me see here. I didn't really push it down too far, but I'm kind of curious what the smush pattern. Okay, so it actually did smear pretty well. So now what I gotta do is I gotta push this stuff back towards the center. And then when I put the screws, it should smear even better. Okay, so we're going to just push that back in towards the center. This one spread pretty well as well. Okay. There we go. There's still some on this. We're just going to go ahead and smush it back down. It looks like it has a good amount that it's going to spread well. Okay, so do that. And then we're going to first loosely fit one screw like that. Get this one. One, two, three. I like to twist it to hear it click backwards and then tighten it down. So this is the end. One, two, three. Okay, same thing with this one. One, two, three. All right, then we're going to go in and go one, two, three. Back over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, back in. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. Now we're actually tightening it all the way down. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to um, cool it down a lot better. All right, I mean, this design's not great. Like, it doesn't have a fan directly blowing into the heat sink. I don't know. Very bad design, honestly. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this thing back together. We gotta reconnect the battery. So just make sure this plastic flap is out of the way. You gotta kind of pull this back and then have it go in between that. Once you get that, just push that in all the way. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna put the bottom cover back on. Okay. Let's see that all the way, is that enough? Nope. Okay. Uh, a little more okay so we're gonna get the bottom cover back on and then yeah the customer has like a bunch of little post-it notes and stuff all over their computer so I'm not really gonna show uh, what's inside but let me see if I can just show the screen to show it's powering on because some people like to go is it still working is it still turning on so let me plug this in and then check to show you real quick. Uh, they also have a keyboard cover, so you gotta be careful not to lose that thing. Oh, I forgot to check. They had some tape here that well you get how to put on screws right so let me open this up and then i'm just gonna plug it in and show it's turning on still just in case because some people like to see the computers turning back on okay so push the power button all right touchpad is clicking that's a good sign and this should come up showing the apple once it shows the apple we should be good okay go and there's the apple so should be good and yeah their screen is kind of gross um, they also have like broken glass on the bottom but it's loading and I'm gonna close it I'm gonna take the screws back out check on the tape here <coughs> just in case but that's pretty much it again hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did <coughs> please make sure to like comment subscribe Share my channel with others that so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. Again, if you can't help out that way, um, it would help a lot. If you could watch a few of my other videos, like and comment on those. I think I mixed up what I said. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically if it helped, um, if you could help support my channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and grab this last few things and see. Yeah, their tape went inside here. They have this tape here because they're like holding on their notes or something onto it. So, yeah. All right. Get this back together. <clears throat> all right. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can watch me put all the screws back in if you want, but at this point, you should know how to do that part. All right. Let's get all those screws in. one and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one Let's drop this bye